welcome to the vlog. My name is Elena. I'm a K through five behavior special education teacher, and this is a day in my life. Try to take one ride around in my body, in my body. Can't say. Like I said, I'm Elena. If you are new here, I teach in Central Iowa. I taught in the Gen Ed classroom for six years before transitioning to special education and now I've been a behavior special education teacher for the last three years. I have nine students on my roster. We are not self-contained but I do have students who spend a large majority of their part of their day. Actually I'll take that back. I do have two students who are officially self-contained in my room and we're working on reintegration plans with their classroom as behavior permits it. Uh, and then I've got seven other kids who just spend different varying amounts of time in my room. Some I only see to do their social skills instruction. I've got like two that I only see for social skills instruction. Uh, the others I have academic goals that I'm also doing with them and they bring their work from their classroom down to my room when they need a smaller setting to be at. And then of course I help with any behavior escalations through the day that happen. I will say because I am not a full self-contained room, the behavior escalations do happen because kids are in settings that I don't have complete control around. I do see why other schools do have self-contained programs for students with needs like mine just because it is easier just to be quite frank to have them in one room and I get to control what their tasks are and control the setting and the environment and there would be fewer escalations just because there's a lot more things that I have control over. There's a lot less interaction from other people, other adults who maybe don't know their plan, other kids saying things to them that don't sit well with them and trigger them into other behaviors. But this is what's best for the students is that we try to integrate them into their classroom and have them included as much as possible. So that's what we are doing. That's the goal is to try to fade the support. So we are inclusive as much as possible. So that's just a little bit about me and the job that I do. Today, I'm going to take you along as best as I can for a day in my life. I, first and foremost, if you've been here since the beginning, which has only been since the summer, but if you've been following along, you know that I start every day from 8 to 8.30 in collaboration meetings with the teachers, the gen ed teachers that I serve, also with the psychologists that I consult with, and then also the speech language pathologists that my students work with. Today is actually a Lighthouse team meeting. So from 8 to 8.30, I will be in a Lighthouse team meeting and then the rest of my day will start with students. So that's what I am headed off to do. My first task always, and I'm already thinking about it, is figuring out how we're going to cover all of my students. They do all have one-to-one -one associates so that I can teach the lessons and that they can help students as needed. Like that's the support level that's needed for the friends I work with. However, we are always down and short staffed. So uh, my first job is to figure out how we're going to cover everything and make it work for the day. So I'm gonna be mentally thinking about that in my 25 minute drive to work, have my meeting, and then hopefully by the time 8.30 rolls around, I will magically have a solution of how we are gonna cover everybody for the day. So here we go, here's a day in my life. I hope you enjoy and stick around for it. So as much as I love my outfit today, I did this really dumb thing where I didn't wear pants or a jacket with pockets in it. And I have a lot of walkies between my walkies and my phone that I got to carry. This wasn't very smart of me. So that'll be fun. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good day. It's still gonna be a good day.
best refrain. The moment's coming soon at the end of the day. They open up. Come with me, we're sipping on your water, we're chilling, cabana, could roll like your nana, could play ya, come with you, cause in the month the morning, break your heart in silence, cause the sun's out so you gotta, it's the start of the night and I'm waiting to call you, it's knocking on doors in the dark, I've been walking, I've been laid up on the news, now you're lying, the look up on your face, now you're smiling, well, that wasn't a great start. <laughs> Hello, it's the end of the day. It's 4.35 right now. I am going to make myself leave by five o'clock tonight. I just, I am sticking to it. I wouldn't say it was a bad day and it was, it was fine. It just felt kind of like we're surviving today. It's um, no one's fault of their own things happen, but when you are short staffed and you're trying to just fill gaps and fill holes, it puts a strain on everybody and tomorrow is going to be even harder with even more people gone. So I'm just trying to stay positive and know that I can only control what I can control and I have to stay there. I am working on quite a few IEPs. I don't know if I've mentioned this in this vlog. Maybe I did this morning. I'm trying to remember. I have six IEPs due in the matter of three weeks. Four of those meetings are happening the week we come back from Thanksgiving break, but we only have two days of school next week and then we have Thanksgiving break and then I'm gonna have all those meetings and I need to have all this stuff ready. So I'm kind of feeling the pressure right now because I definitely don't wanna be writing IEPs during break. I'm also writing IEPs for a couple of kids that I'm not actually serving their goals. I'm just their caseload manager because we have a level three position that is not filled it's been posted for gosh nine months now and hasn't been filled and so we just have a long-term sub there but they are not licensed as a special education teacher so we had to get approval from board of education and everything to do this but i'm the caseload manager then for a couple of these students and so i'm trying to write ieps for kids that i don't actually work with and i don't know super well and so that requires a lot more collaboration and a lot of people who need to be together so Anyways, it just all feels like a lot to do right now. But with my time that I have left, realistically, I can get my morning message written for tomorrow and I can get my data inputted from today's progress monitoring. And we'll see whatever else I can get written on these IEPs between now and then. But I'm just trying to, in short chunks of time that I can plug away at it and work on all this paperwork there's one thing you know about special education it's that there's a lot of legalities and paperwork to everything that we do and I am kind of feeling the burn feeling the pressure of that right now so I'm gonna quit chatting I have no idea what even I got video footage of you of the day I tried to like catch little clips here and there of things that were happening but I don't know maybe it would be helpful if I just sat down and like went through my schedule of the day and what I do and what that looks like I don't know would that be helpful? Should I include that in my next day in the life? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and continue putting in the data, like I said, and I will see you in the next vlog. I am so thankful that you have watched it to this point and stuck with me. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. Please comment anything down below about any questions you have about my day, questions about lessons that I'm doing, questions about I don't know any questions that you have any comments that you have I love to interact with anyone here watching these videos and know where are you from what do you teach maybe you're not a teacher why do you why do you watch if you're not a teacher what keeps you around to watch I feel like I heard something maybe that was just my voice okay I'm going crazy enough ranting I'm gonna get on with my day but thank you for being here thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one bye even the dark they still see light even the birds still sing at night every word just comes out right when i'm with you with you i feel so lucky i met you and i